Today we are making a video on Ubuntu Budgie 23.04 Beta Edition. Here is the boot menu of Ubuntu Budgie. Uh, in order to boot in a live mode, you need to click on try or install Ubuntu Budgie. And this is for Ubuntu Budgie safe graphics. This is for OEM install for manufacturers and this is to test memory. Let's quickly go to try or install Ubuntu Budgie. So let's boot it in. It's going to take up to a maximum of a minute to load up to desktop or minimum of 30 to 40 seconds. I will say you the time of how much time it took. Here is our Ubuntu Budgie uh, welcome screen. It almost took like a, a minute and 20 seconds to load up the desktop uh, from the boot menu. Here is our uh, welcome screen or the two options to boot in. This is to boot in a live mode and this is to install right now uh, from here. It's always a good idea to first try it on a live mode and then go to installation. So here is our languages. These are all the languages available right here. You can choose any language if you want. I'm choosing English and I'm trying to boot in a live mode because I do I want to test it it's proper or not or we have a bugs. It's going to take like 10 to 15 seconds again. And I forgot to mention that I'm running it on a virtual machine or a VMware uh, with a 40 GB of hard disk. Uh, 4 GB of RAM and with two processors. Uh, this is a beta edition. Uh, if you are a normal user, it's better to stay out of it. Uh, if you want to test it, uh, you can test it on a virtual machine. And if you are a normal user, it's better to wait for the stable release. After the stable release, also you should wait to up to like 10 to 15 days, uh, 15 days, because it's better to. Uh, wait instead of running your pc sometimes the stable uh, iso files or a stable linux distro uh, have some bugs that could ruin your pc so it's better to wait for a few days like uh, 15 to 10 days uh, if they had bugs they are going to release a point updates like uh, uh, example uh, we have ubuntu budgie 23.04 stable if they have uh, bugs they are going to release uh, 23.04.1 like that so it's better to wait for a few days even after the stable release so this is our budgie welcome you can install it from here or these are the few features let's close this thing uh, first we need to change our display resolution because you can see there are black bars right here let's go to settings or you can call it uh, budgie control center I think there uh, the setting of displays will be in a uh, uh, I guess uh, uh, we open properly here is our display uh, my monitor is 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio I am going to choose it click on apply it's going to take a few seconds and a confirmation is here keep this configuration if you can't see the text or a uh, uh, font size you can uh, scale up to 200%. Uh, 1920 into 1080 uh, with a 200%, there will be a lot of big uh, icons and a big text. Uh, if you want, you can test it. If you are uh, okay with uh, the font size, you can just keep it to 100% uh, with the 1920 or uh, your uh, uh, monitor settings as you wish. Let's check the about system. Uh, device name is Ubuntu Budgie and I have a 4 GB of RAM a 40 GB of hard disk and the Budgie version is the 10.7.1 I think this is the latest version I guess and uh, window system is x11 a virtualization VMware and the kernel is 6.2.0 this is the uh, I think this is the latest version uh, which is uh, available in every Ubuntu flavor right now in the beta editions because I made a uh, almost uh, all flavors uh, for beta edition of Ubuntu 
as if you want you can check it out my previous video like yesterday's uh, day before yesterday's i made all the subuntu lubuntu all these videos let's first check the system monitor because we need to know how much resources are consumed uh, in the beginning and i will show you the system monitor again later at the end so you will get an idea of uh, how much resources are con consumed here is our system which is a uh, lunar lobster because it's going to show lunar lobster of ubuntu because it's a flavor of ubuntu and some info if you want you can read it here are all the processes running right now in the beginning of the video or beginning of the uh, launching of linux distro here are the cpus almost uh, touching 30 percent let me change the color so you can see properly here is the graph we have a high peak almost in the mid and ram is almost a 1.4 gb just uh, we launched the linux distro right now it's already 1.4 gb uh, people who have a 2 gb of ram uh, ram it's not uh, for you to be honest in my opinion because uh, 1.4 gb is already consumed uh, if you have 2 gb of ram it's going to lag like crazy it will be very much or uh, too much of lag you can't even use properly so it's not a low end pc linux distro here are the cpu you will get an idea of cpu just remember these things because i'm going to show you the system monitor later at the end so you will have a you will have an idea of how much resources are used after opening few apps uh, so let's open the terminal and let's type in few commands here is our terminal let's check the terminal telix 1.9.5 let's put it in some commands which is inxi dash sv8 click and enter we have every info of the linux distro uh, host is ubuntu budgy kernel i already told 6.2.0 which is also 64 bit uh, and the budgy version is 10.7.1 already told that too light dm version 1.30.0 and the distro ubuntu 23.04 which is a flavor of ubuntu so it's going to show ubuntu 23.04 i'm running it on a vmware so it's going to show virtual machine vmware uh, bios phoenix version 6.0 uh, RAM consumed uh, uh, 1.4 GB of uh, 4 GB which is almost 38 percent here are my CPU if you want you can see it uh, Xorge version is 1.21.1.7 uh, here are my resolution or available resolutions here of the monitor let's type in few more commands like inxi just inxi hit enter again inxi dash b and inxi dash capital g uh, let me type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue and we have here everything mesa graphics or mesa version 23.0.1 opengl version is 4.1 uh, display is 1920 to 1080 uh, with a 60 hertz and vmw gfx version is 2.20.0.0 xorge i already told the xorge version uh, we are using uh, vmware 40 GB hard disk so it's going to show it and uptime is 10 minutes and processors are 295 and INXI version is 3.3.25 I think I covered everything let's type in htop and click on enter here is our htop uh, memory is around 941 MB of 4 GB RAM our tasks are 118 threads are 349 I think that's it let's close this thing okay 
uh, let's launch uh, Firefox browser and let me show you how to download the uh, Ubuntu uh, Budgie 23.04 and after that let's uh, launch the installation process or I'll show you the installation process uh, Firefox version is uh, Tribal 1.0 because I already made a lot of videos on Ubuntu flavors so every version will be uh, every Firefox or a Firefox browser in every uh, Ubuntu flavor will be same let's type in Ubuntu Bergy 23.04 beta and here is the first link let's click on it it's going to take to take us to the official website of Ubuntu if you want you can just type it in the URL because the URL is pretty much uh, long so it's better to type in the search term just uh, Ubuntu Bergy 23.04 beta edition you need to know this or uh, you need to confirm it uh, before downloading what you are downloading uh, we here we have Ubuntu Bergy 23.04 beta edition and the file size is around uh, 3.2 GB and we have only AMD 64 uh, for PC and we have only 64 bit uh, ISO files available so let's click on the download link here is the 3.2 GB I'm using a VPN so it's not allowing me to download on top speed or a high speed let's close this thing and now let me show you the process of uh, installation uh, you need to double click or right click and open it uh, the installer should take like almost uh, 20 seconds uh, to load up again it's uh, uh, only for testing or uh, if you want to test it, uh, it uh, use it on a virtual machine uh, if you uh, if you want to test it on your main PC don't do it because it's going to ruin your PC they have already a lot of bugs so it's better to wait for the stable version or a point uh, update versions here is our uh, uh, languages available to install almost they cover like 50 languages I guess I'm choosing English continue it's going to pop up uh, with a keyboard layout we have a keyboard layout you can choose uh, other language it automatically put me into English US because I have choose English US uh, in the previous step you can choose any keyboard you want click on continue and here are the few options to how to install here is a normal installation and minimal installation normal uh, normal installation uh, uh, have web browser utilities office software games and multimedia pair it's the best option to go with uh, because you already downloaded a 3.5 GB around file size so it's better go with a normal installation this is my opinion it's up to you how you want to do it in the minimal installation you will be just uh, having a web browser and basic utilities basic utilities uh, meaning you will be having some calculator mouse pad or text like that a few options of uh, basic utilities so I'm going to choose a normal installation so I want everything web browser utilities all these things and other options are like if you want to download updates uh, while installing or installation process you can uh, check it or uncheck it if you don't want you can install third-party software and graphics Wi-Fi all these things additional media formats if you want you can check it if you don't want if you want to install it later you can just uncheck it both if you want to uh, save your time you just need to check this button and click on continue it's going to take a lot of time almost a minute maximum because it's going to prepare uh, ubuntu drivers uh, maximum it will take uh, a minute sometimes it's a minimum of uh, 20 seconds so let's wait for the uh, process to happen It's just, uh, it just took like uh, 20 seconds for me I don't know how much time it takes to you 
uh, here is the main process or uh, you need to be careful while choosing this because erase disk and install ubuntu budgie is the option which erases the uh, whole hard disk or ssd of your files and media formats like that and it's going to uh, install it like a single boot so be careful what you're doing and you need to read everything while doing this thing and if you're going with something else it's like a partition you can dual boot do anything you want so it's better to have an idea of what you're doing here and uh, i think that's it after clicking on install now it's going to uh, take some time and give you the uh, process of uh, you need to fill the full name uh, password you need to type all these things and it's going to take a few more seconds and then it's uh, installation will be start started and we do, it will take like a maximum of uh, 20 minutes a minimum i don't know like uh, five minutes sometimes like that eight minutes like that and it's going to finish you'll be having like a finish uh, option here you need to click on finish and you need to reboot the system or sometimes it automatically reboots the system and you will be having uh, uh, ubuntu budgie installed in your hard disk uh, that's the process of installation i don't want to do it so i'm just going to say the, close this thing that's the installation process and let's go through all the desktop features right now here are our uh, notification and widgets all over here apps devices current play music all these things this is all uh, available in a previous version also so here is our power off and on button reboot everything and the volume you can set it here you can mute it here do anything you want you can customize everything here and we have a network settings you can even change your network settings if you want like a wi-fi network ethernet all these things and notification here is our uh, file manager shortcuts here is some note quick note you can type it anything you want let's try to type few things here like my channel URL youtube.com slash 9 to file Linux is my channel URL which will directly take to my channel here is our panel icon workspace you can choose uh, add or you can go with uh, one or two here will be a workspace you know already the workspace uh, how it works let me show you uh, example of workspace let's open uh, control settings or control center let's close this thing let's go to you can add the uh, workspace you'll know what you are doing here so let me just close this thing and let's check the other options instead of uh, waiting for that let's change the desktop background we have a latest desktop background already which is Luna Lobster here are few uh, uh, wallpapers not much wallpapers just a few wallpapers uh, here we have a network a bluetooth background i'm just going to run through fast so it don't take a lot of time here multitasking that's the multitasking workspace primary you can do you already know this because uh, i don't want to waste the time here applications you know this applications privacy privacy and online accounts if you want you can add your accounts sharing you can share it sound same as the previous version power displays mouse and touchpad natural scrolling keyboard keyboard layout all these things printers if you have a printer 
colors, removable media, region and language, universal access, users, default application, date and time. And about, I already showed the about. So let's close this thing. What we left with, these are all the apps which comes pre-installed. As you can see here, these are all the apps comes pre-installed. So let's open the software or uh, app store you can call it. Here is our calendar which is common in uh, every Ubuntu flavor which will be almost uh, in the center. Uh, we already have an updates, updates of around like a 200 MB I guess. And here are all the installed apps. Let's check the version of uh, software which is GNOME 44. It's go going to take a, a few seconds. Uh, people who want to know exactly time, maximum of a minute, but it took uh, like uh, 15 seconds for me. I don't know, it may take uh, more to you. Uh, I'm going to say it's a maximum of a minute. Here are all the apps pre-installed. And if you want to know the versions, I'm going to show you in a fast way just by opening the apps and it's a bit of lag so we need to wait uh, the main, I'll show you the main apps version uh, disk UCG analyzer, the version should be like uh, a 44 if GNOME 44 is uh, available here uh, like apps the almost every app of uh, GNOME will be 44 like example uh, document scanner which is version 44 almost the GNOME desktop environment apps should be all uh, like uh, GNOME 44 so I'm just going to skip all these things and just open the few other apps like uh, LibreOffice which is 7.5.2 RC1 and uh, I already showed the system monitor Let's show Parole 4.18.0 uh, Previous Control 1.6.0 This is the step just for people who want to know the version of what version is installed in the uh, uh, Linux distro I am doing this just for them So Image Viewer the version should be like a 3.12.2 I think uh, let's open gedit version should be let's scroll down version is 44.2 I think that's it let's uh, finally check the document viewer version is 1.2.1.2.26.0 yeah, it's uh, because of uh, its uh, mad desktop environment as you can see there is a website a uh, version also 1.2.6 1.26.0 I'm sorry I think we covered everything I guess let's check the software sources and updater also at the same time it's going to take a few seconds to load all these things uh, these are all the common Ubuntu software and updates thing so it's going to be same in every flavor Oh, so nothing to show here and we have a lag or a software and our dev updates has been stuck there for a few seconds and software update we have an update of uh, 200 MB almost 220 MB if you want you can install if you don't want remind it later it's up to you and I think let's launch the system monitor and check how much resources are consumed after opening all the few apps I didn't open much apps let's check and uh, see I think we have already 400 MB of uh, resources consumed we didn't open uh, a lot of apps just a few apps but it's already a 400 MB of uh, resources are consumed I made a lot of videos on Ubuntu flavor of uh, 23.04 in previous uh, videos like yesterday and day before yesterday uh, almost the all resources of uh, Ubuntu flavor took almost uh, like uh, 700 to 900 MB So it's not for a low-end PC in my opinion because it's almost a uh, 1.8 GB Only if you have a 4 GB RAM 
and uh, Pentium processor it may work but uh, I can't give you a guarantee of uh, how it works sometimes it may be laggy I don't know because uh, processor should be slow and we have also a processor of a high peak here you can see the graph here we have a high peak almost like uh, 20 seconds uh, CPUs are running almost like a 20% below 20% that's pretty much good uh, but the memory uh, but the memory is uh, uh, bad for me in my opinion because it's almost a 1.8 GB it's a waste uh, in my opinion for a low-end PC uh, if you want you can go with a Lubuntu uh, but that's not uh, a customizable or uh, you can customize but it's uh, the default uh, uh, desktop environment is pretty much uh, what you say it's uh, like a class thing not a modern thing but it's a lightweight it's uh, the apps will run pretty much fast I love LXQT desktop environment if you want to go with Ubuntu flavor it's better to go with Lubuntu or a Subuntu which is a XFC desktop environment that's also good instead of going with this uh, uh, budgie or you can just try it on your own by downloading the beta editions on a VMware you'll get an idea of uh, how much resources are consumed I think that's it let me show you the uh, my channel this part is only for the people who want to view my content without subscribing if you are already subscribed no need to uh, watch this step you can skip it uh, if you are not a, uh, a person who didn't subscribe and we want to watch my content I'll show you how to watch my content without subscribing no need to feel bad because I don't ask you to subscribe it's up to you you can do it if you want to if you don't want it's up to you no problem with me just type in youtube.com slash or fallen slash 9 to 5 linux which will which will take directly to my channel this is the url uh, if you are on a mobile app or a tv or on a tab you just need to type in a 9 to 5 linux in a youtube it will take directly to my channel so if you are on a pc just type in youtube.com slash 9 to 5 linux and we will be having our channel here in a few seconds because I'm using a VPN here is my channel uh, if you are here for just uh, Linux videos you just need to go to playlist and scroll down you will see a Linux view full playlist or you can just play all directly here I almost uh, made a lot of uh, various videos on Linux distros almost cover like 1532 videos on almost every Linux distros I cover like 70 to 80 percent of Linux distros you will have every Linux distro here you can play all or shuffle here or you can just uh, type in your favorite Linux distro or a uh, search term here like a uh, Zorin OS or a uh, MX Linux for example you just need to type it here you will be this search will be available in uh, YouTube app or uh, in a tab or a TV this thing will be available you can just type it in here and the videos will pop up right here you can just click it, uh, click in here I will post videos as soon as the Linux distros will be released uh, with the latest version I don't miss uh, any uh, any day as I mentioned here I will post two videos daily without missing any video uh, missing, uh, missing any day uh, these are the timings you can just uh, uh, type in my channel URL and you will be uh, having my videos posted there at these timings or you can if you want you can just subscribe if you want if you don't want you can just type in the URL and watch my videos I'll post two videos daily without missing I already made a video on Ubuntu Unity today if you want you can check that video too uh, these are the timings I think that's it let's close this thing and end the video I think that's it for this today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps me make a good content for you other than that I'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out let's shut down I think it's going to shut down instantly